Here with Arlington Heights volleyball coach Shannon Lizenby here out at Wilkerson Grinds, big uh, District 75A showdown. Arlington Heights beating Pasco in a five-set thriller. Uh, kind of significant because it's been 10, 15, maybe even 20 years since Heights and Pasco played a district game. Yes. I saw the rivalry shirts, uh, all the crowd out here. Good atmosphere for these girls. Ultimately, you came away with the win. Talk about the victory. Um, well, this is a huge victory for us. We've been working on it for a couple weeks now. I feel like my senior, Maddie Cass, really stepped up on the blocks tonight. I have a junior, Addie Winston, and a sophomore, Macy Conley. They were big on the net, big hits, big kills, dug some balls, chased down some balls with balls with heart and energy. I'm so proud of them. There's, I can't say enough, and I just think our future is going to get brighter and brighter. Uh, you know, I know it's a game of runs, and it's it's always funny to me because yes. I feel like the the fort the the fort set fort Maddie. set winner. <laughs> There's no, Maddie Cass. Yes, uh, this is my senior. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, hang on. Uh, it's funny to me because I always feel like the team that wins the fort set, they have the momentum and they they go out and win the fifth. That's always never the case in volleyball. Um, just talk about what you told the girls in that fifth, uh, before the fifth set, and also when Pasco was up 11 to 10. Well, I felt like, and this is not anything, but that my girls played really hard. This is not a, against anyone. But I feel like we had the energy the whole night. We just made some young and silly errors that allowed people to get on Pasco to go on that run. And when it was 11 to 10, I told them, girls, we are the better team tonight. And we are going to get this win. And I believe in you. And they went and did it. And so I, I think they have never felt this before. And they really, really wanted it. And so I'm so proud of how they worked through that. Can you talk about setting the tone in the first set? Well, I think the first set was an amazing set. I think that the Heights girls, our girls, played really, really well. I wish we would have kept that same energy and momentum uh, throughout the night. I think we relaxed a little bit and we were maybe shocked a little bit that we had took that first set and fairly comfortably, um, but it did set the tone. It told us because we haven't beat Pascal in a long time and it told us we can. And so they just, when they felt that they could, they took off with it.